Hi, um, I'm Sandy, and I'm going to give you a short tour through the uh, our homepage and our calendar. So this is our homepage, and it's where you can find updates, um, online training. Or, or, uh, so I'll sh I'll take you through. This updates page is um, all announcements um, by date, and um, the online training page has uh, access to what classes are online, um, some articles, and our this down here is our free videos, so um, you can get started training. Um, under class calendar, we have the calendar. We'll go through that in a minute. For dog and puppy training, this is where you can read more about each of the classes that we offer. And um, so puppy, family dog one, uh, our basic behaviors video, which is one of the free videos and that we like to have people watch before they start classes. Um, that's why it's available to you. Um, family dog, oh, that should say family dog two. Um, and our family dog topics, which goes through in detail all of the topics that we have. So you can read a little bit more about what you can learn with each of the topics there. So we have the family dog two, and then some family dog three topics, which we're not offering during this uh, COVID time. Our dog sports are classes that you can take once you've got your foundations down. Here's our frequently asked questions um, and our client portal, which is where you can find uh, handouts. Um, when we uh, when you sign up, or if you are signed up, this is this is a new feature as of April 2020, and so we do have handouts available. They are under a password, so you'll receive that password when you sign up. And um, under more, we have policies and suggested reading and a whole bunch of other types of things. Um, so let's go back over the class calendar. I specifically want to focus on that. Um, so, and I and this is how you would get to it. And I'm going to go over to the side and use the slider bar to bring it into view. And this is the area I want to focus on. So, first of all, that's how you find the calendar, and then. Um, once you have uh, the class calendar, you need to know what can I sign up for? And we have a color code system here. Um, blue is family dog one, purple is family dog two, pink is puppy, and um, brown is family dog three, green is dog sports, aqua is scent work. Etc. We now have a brand new one that I'll have to add on here. Olive Green is our live online classes. Um, so here's our class calendar. And uh, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, obviously. Uh, the yellow here in this area means that is today. And so um, there's in these classes, whenever you see hash marks, it means the class is not available or it is full. So um, with the sport classes, we don't use the calendar to sign up for sport classes they're, because they're not flexible classes. They're six-week classes. Um, for these uh, times where we're sheltering in place, 
we're not having puppy classes. Um, I'm getting the curriculum together for both puppy and family dog too. It should be um, a week or so before we get it all finished. It takes a lot of time to put together a class. So um, you can see the scentwork classes are all unavailable because you sign up through a different system for those. Um, so hash marks mean the class is not available. And um, if you look up above here, we are on the week tab. It's highlighted in blue, but we could also look at today's uh, schedule and we can use the little arrow to go forward till tomorrow. So it's not so confusing when you can look at it in the day by day um, if, if the week view is too confusing for you. Um, and the agenda tab is, uh, looks at your attendances. So if um, you can look at history, so this is uh, history for what I'm signed up for, uh, which is I, I'm giving supposedly a free tour, but um, since our classes are canceled, I'm not doing free tours right now. But, you, but if this was a family dog one class, you can see it here. So you know, what am I signed up for? That answers that question. And would also show your future classes here if you were signed up for anything. And you can also look, use find available space after such and such. So available is um, kind of a cool thing. So you can look at, here's all the classes that are available to me. So you can, um, look at these and say, oh, these are not the closed off classes. So let's say, oh, I have some time available on Saturday and I'd like to take an online live class. And so there's online video and online live, which means I'm live to answer your questions. Or the video, the great thing about the video is that you can watch it as many times as you like. Uh, with the live classes, it's only at the time it's scheduled. Um, so let's go back and let's say that I want to sign up for the pay attention class. And so let me check that I am signed in as administrator. So my view is a little bit different than yours, <clears throat> but I'll just go through here. Um, we see there's some people signed up. So I'm going to push new attendance and then it has my name already in there. It would have my dog's name um, if I was not the administrator. And then I would push create attendance. So then my name would be on that list. And there's a big plus on any class that you signed up for. So you can look at the calendar. So let's say I wanna go and look at what did I sign up for last week? I would push the little back button so I could see last week or the week before, et cetera. You could go back as far as you want up to a year. And then um, let's say I wanna go look at next week and sign up for a class. So I'm going to uh, you know, click on any particular class that I'm interested in and then create an attendance and then save that attendance. New attendance and then create attendance right there. So now I'm signed up for that class as well. Now, let's say, uh-oh, I really didn't want to be in that class. Uh, I don't want to take up a space for it. So I'm going to go, I can see my names on there. I'm gonna click on this little pen and paper icon right here. Click, and it comes up with my attendance. Let me scroll down here so you can see it. And I can update it, add information to it, or I can push the trash can icon and delete it. So there, I, it's, I'm gone now. See, I no plus mark here. So I'm not signed up for that. Um, so when you sign up for classes, you have to sign up at least 10 hours before the class, and you can only um, cancel classes 
up to 12 hours before the class. The reason why there's a two hour change there is when we do have high demand for classes, people um, want to check and see if, if it's available and we need a little time between the cancellations and any new signups that we get. Um, so that I think is the full picture of the, um, you know, it'll also send you a confirmation. Um, so it tells you up here, there's a message that says when you're deleting it. So a couple of other things that I wanted to go over while we were up here is, um, here is where you sign in and sign out of the calendar. This is a not, this is on, uh, this address was what we sent to you in your sign up email, and it's not through our website. So if you went through our website, you'd push the class calendar button. And um, if you went through the link in our um, email that we sent you, you would come in without the, the frame around it from our website. Um, so you're going to sign in with your login and your password, and those are sent to you in your email. And um, if you are on a, um, not on a desktop device, then you might very likely see the mobile view of this. And so um, one thing you can do is go up to the address up here and instead of saying https slash slash or colon slash slash www you just put a d in there d stands for desktop view and the desktop view is a lot less confusing than the mobile view so that's why we put this um, if you are on a mobile device scroll to the very bottom of the screen and choose desktop view. And I'm not even sure if we can get the mobile view on here, but let's try it out. Yes, okay, so you can see where the mobile view is not very intuitive. Um, you, if, if uh, you are, say today is the 29th, let's go to Monday. Um, and you can see the classes are down here and you can create a new attendance this way through here and then you can save that attendance like this. So, um, whoops, anyway, sorry. Um, that is something that uh, you may want to know about, see if you uh, if you go to the bottom on your mobile view, let's see, let's try that again. So I don't use the mobile view very often, but I know it is, I, I don't like it. So, so right down here, it would say on your phone, desktop view. I wonder if your settings. No, that doesn't help. Those are your details. So um, your settings, and then right next to it, it would say desktop view, and you would click on that. So if I had you know, my on my phone, it's going to be the way it is on a phone. Um, sometimes you'll get this on a tablet too. So you can, um, you know, just switch over to desktop mode or you can go down to this list of classes and choose your class based on that. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to use the contact form and email us. Let us know what kind of system you're on, um, what, what kind of hardware you're using. So is it a, a desktop, laptop, a tablet, or a um, smartphone? And usually it helps us, too, to know, is it an Apple device or a PC or an Android? 
um, or any any of those details is helpful. Um, it can also help if you have accept cookies um, and your cache is cleared. So those are pretty technical things, but um, those this this um, calendar system demands that you accept cookies or it won't work. Um, so those are some things that you can look for. And remember to uh, go to the uh, desktop view if you want to see all the colors and the more intuitive system uh, for signing up. All righty, hope that helps. Um, so that's it for the calendar. And hopefully you can also be looking out for any emails that we send you. Um, it, we usually send them from the address cs at livingwithdogs.us. And so if you put that in your contacts, um, it's less likely to go into your spam folders. Always check your spam folders before you contact us. A uh, good point there is our contact us um, link is up here in the upper left hand corner of every page on our website. And the contact, the reason we do a form here for this is because we need certain information in order to answer your questions. You know, are you a new um, potential client? Are you an existing client? Um, what do you need? And um, some details so that we can get back to you and give you the information we want. And so um, if you give us your dog's name and stuff, we can look you up and um, find out more about uh, when you signed up or when your expiration date is or, or whatever. So we do appreciate you taking the time to fill that out so that we can answer your questions uh, more completely and uh, get you what you need. Um, okay, well, thank you for spending the time and listening to this and hopefully it'll help you out. You can always use the contact form for any questions that you have. All right, take care and we'll see you hopefully or uh, hear from you very soon. Bye-bye.